Our list of the best things to do in Cebu has something for most visitors to this tropical beach destination in the central part of the Philippines. The province of Cebu belongs to the Visayas region and features no less than 168 islands and islets. It should come as no surprise that Cebu is a prime beach holiday destination and most of the things to do gravitate around sun, sea and sand. From stunning waterfalls to historical landmarks and from religious sites to pristine beaches, Cebu's most popular attractions will spice up your holiday in this warm and relaxing area of the Philippines. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 best things to do in Cebu. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So let's cut to the chase. At 10, Fort San Pedro. Fort San Pedro was built in 1565 and was the brainchild of the conqueror of the Philippines, Miguel Lopez de Legazpi. The smallest and oldest tribastion fort in the country, it served as an army barracks, a Filipino rebel stronghold, a prison and a city zoo. It's now a peaceful, crumbling ruin that offers visitors a respite from the chaos of downtown Cebu, especially at sunset. A beautiful structure with walled gardens, it's triangular in shape with two sides facing the sea. At 9, Terrazas de Flores Botanical Garden. Terrazas de Flores Botanical Garden is a great place to breathe in some fresh air if you're looking for an escape from the hustle and bustle of Cebu City. Discover over 120 species of plants and flowers and enjoy a meal or simply a drink at this quaint venue. Settled on the flank of a mountain in Malubog, a 15-minute drive from Cebu City, you are surrounded by majestic mountain views enhanced by the terraces covered with colourful flowers and plants. Next up at 8, Ayala Center Cebu. Ayala Center Cebu is a large shopping mall that features all the necessary facilities to spend a pleasant day when it rains in Cebu. It's also good on sunny days. From health and beauty centers to sportswear and from electronics to brand name fashion, you'll find a wide selection of goods to browse here. With a choice between over 40 restaurants, there's no chance you'll starve in Cebu come meal times. Ayala Mall's cinema and other leisure entertainment venues are also at hand for some popular any weather activities. At 7, Cebu Viewpoints. Cebu Island is rather mountainous, which offers visitors a fair deal of viewpoints and observation decks. For instance, you can enjoy panoramic views of Cebu City from Top's Lookout at Busay Hill and from Mountain View Nature's Park, also on Busay Hill. Other stunning viewpoints that require serious hiking can be found in the southern part of Cebu. The tallest mountain on the island, Osmina Peak, is located in Dalugeti municipality, some 90 kilometers south of Cebu City. Tours to this summit and many others throughout the island are readily available. At 6, historical landmarks in Cebu. Cebu was the first island of the Philippines colonized by the Spanish, led by the Portuguese Magellan during the 16th century. This long and tumultuous history has left plenty of landmarks, many of them located in Cebu City. From Fort San Pedro to Yap San Diego Ancestral House, and from Colon Street, the oldest street in the Philippines, to Lapu Lapu Shrine, there's a great choice of secular historical landmarks to visit in Cebu. If you're pushed for time, there are several museums in Cebu City that explain the history of the region in detail. At 5, Cebu Westtown Lagoon. Cebu Westtown Lagoon is a resort with a water park settled in a large man-made lagoon in Mandoe City, just north of Cebu City. It's equipped with giant slides and water fountains, as well as two large jacuzzis for adults to take a break while sipping a cocktail. Other leisure amenities include Happy Jack's Cafe and Bistro and karaoke with a selection of tracks in English and Tagalog. It's a perfect place to spend the day with your family or as a base for a longer vacation in Cebu. At 4, Cebu Temples and Religious Sites The long and hectic history of the Philippines started in Cebu, which was the first European settlement in the country. 
The different nations that occupied or simply visited the country since the 16th century have left a lot of sacred and religious sites in the province of Cebu. From the Basilica del Santo Nino in Osmina Boulevard to the Taoist Temple in Beverly Hills and from the Monastery of the Holy Eucharist in Simala to the Chapel of San Pedro Calungzod in Cebu South Road, you'll find a wide range of religious edifices on Cebu. At 3, Cebu Waterfalls. Covering an area of over 4,000 square kilometers, Cebu Island features rugged mountain areas and limestone plateaus to the north and south of Metro Cebu. You can find more than 90 waterfalls in the thick jungle around Cebu. A few of them have become famous. Tumalog Falls near Oslop, Kawasan Falls near Maulbaul, Aguinid Falls near Sambawan, and another Kawasan Falls in Badian Island near Malapascua Island. Organized tours and guides are available to help you access these stunning waterfalls. Next up at 2, it's Cebu Island Hopping. In a province that counts 168 islands, boarding a boat for a day of island hopping is one of the most popular things to do in Cebu. Whether you stay on Cebu, Mactan, Malapascua, Batayan or any other island nearby, there's always an island hopping day trip at hand from where you are. Pescador Island is the main day trip destination from Maulbaul, while Dakit Dakit, Biliran and Kalangaman Islands are three great island hopping destinations from Malapascua Island. If discovering soft sand beaches lapped by turquoise water is your idea of a successful holiday, it certainly is for me, then Cebu Province delivers. And finally, at number one, diving and snorkeling in Cebu. Scuba diving and snorkeling are two prime activities in the Cebu province. Most of the islands that compose this area are surrounded by crystal clear warm waters, which house an impressive marine life, including large species such as manta rays, whale sharks, and the rare thresher shark. Dive sites such as Monad Shoal near Malapascua Island, Pescador Island near Maulbaul, and Kansan Tik in the Orlango Channel have gained an international reputation, and many dive centers in Cebu and nearby islands run daily diving excursions. And there you have the top 10 best things to do in Cebu. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. So, see you next time.